honestly, just having the husks laying out there in the open, that's just really disrespectful to the dead. I, they have offseers who are literally at the castle. Hey, but welcome back to Something more Zebra- Oh, uh, they're... Magnus, that's why. Uh, anyways, uh, hey, welcome back to more Zebra Chronicles 3. I'm Sir Maths, and last time, we gave names to the people of Colony Zero. Finishing up everything there. And this time, we're heading into Fort Overbus for the first time. Well, not really. It's technically going to be into our third time. Uh, we were, of course, there for the story. We briefly stopped in um, for the quest right before Sigiri's Ascension. And then now we are getting ready to actually start doing some of the quests. But, first things first, we got some husks to send off. Finally, and, a unique like monster out here, Infiltrator Garnak. We have Ashira with us, as our hero. I don't know, I just feel like it would make sense for Ashira to be the the one out here for our first trip into Kevis Castle. Well, our first friendly trip into Kevis Castle, I should say. Someone else could draw aggro? Thank you. Um, that top one is our fastest recharge, I believe. Jesus, that was just a, that was a clean one shot. I mean, to be fair, the martial artist is pretty weak. Uh, but yeah, I mean, even then. Wait a minute, I thought I had lands with the. I thought I had lands with uh memory locket, but evidently not. Just pop that, go back to center, because I am very much enjoying playing as the martial artist. Our non-existent health notwithstanding. Ooh, he likes that did a lot. Um, we need is... Oh god, we are so far away from a chain attack, too. Probably shouldn't have done the Impulse Wave Demolition combo. Just for sake of Rage and Force, but. Because yeah, Rage and Slicer and Demolition both pretty. pretty slow in there. Um, I know we have Smash available somewhere, right? No? That's such a shame. We really missed out. And, I mean, that's still some really nice damage. Uh, we'll also charge up our Ouroboros. And bonk. Bonk. I mean, this is, this is a pretty tough fight right here. I mean, we are a little bit underleveled technically. But, like, I feel like it's, or, sorry, we're a little bit over level, technically, I should say. Uh, but, like, it doesn't feel like it too much because, well, it's just a difficult type of enemy. So, yeah, I mean, I will gladly take more tough fights like this. Uh, it gets us that. Let's get lands up a little bit, I think. Because we're going to get the amazing with Ashira. Uh, I'm just gonna use her train order, train effect, whatever. Um, and yeah, that'll get everyone else back up. Pops to 200. Get this right away to. I mean, 
you can get... Like, Ashira is very good for the start of Chain Attacks, but for longevity, she's not necessarily the best. Uh, still, none of them are ever going to be as good as Fiona. Uh, I just realized that we haven't played as Fiona in a while. But, yeah, Fiona is definitely, by far, the single best Chain Attack hero in the game. It's not even that close, really. Um, Fiona is incredible in chain attacks. I should focus on healing people as well. Let's... Oh, Jesus. Guardian Commander is not getting, like, anything done on the chain attack front. I mean, that could just be... Okay, it probably is just because of how I'm doing everything. Uh, we're gonna get two back up. I am going to risk it. Hope that we get everything set. I mean, we'll obviously get to the 99 here. I don't know if we finish off Infiltrator Garnak in this train attack. I don't think we do. It'll be close. Actually, no, I think, uh, looking at it right now, yeah, if we get the Ouroboros Sword, I think we should be good on him. Pretty easy. Uh, which we might be able to get. Uh, okay, we do definitely get it then. It's not a great chain attack, but it's enough. You get our attack up. Oh. Uh, one thing that has probably been noticed a little bit. Uh, debuff timers do actually run during your chain attacks. Uh, they... I believe it's just during the animations when it counts. Um, so like, you have an... Un I'm pretty sure you have an unlimited time to like, think about your next move, for example. But, uh, you... I just realized I don't actually have any meal right now. Well, that's a me problem. But, yeah. It's... Okay, we do finish it off right at the end. But, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Uh... Okay, um... Yeah, buffs and debuffs do run on the timer. I'm pretty sure you have the option. Or rather, you are not held back by... If you want to take a while to decide what your next best move is. Um, like, during the animations, it can take a while. We love a 2 mil. As we get Super Explosion. And I think that we could have gotten way more if I just had a snack beforehand. Um, there was a thousand percent of damage to nearby enemies when incapacitated. It's quite a lot, um, but yeah. We will keep moving our way through. Uh, I don't know. I'll because that battle took a while. I don't think I'm gonna actually do any. Side quests. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do any side quests. I'm just going to explore Fort Overbus because we didn't really do uh, uh, here and Agnes Castle as well. Or not Agnes Castle. Uh, Kevis Castle. Because we never really had the opportunity to first time around in Side Story Noah. Uh, it's a... Side Story Noah, I mean, it's a very important story mission. Um, so... You want to really just focus on that at the time. Uh, you get brought into... Fort of Urbis is such a weird area because of the fact that it's introduced during a very... Like, it's... It doesn't feel like it's a deserving fight. I mean, this is... It's your penultimate region that you find. That you're allowed into. And it's the very... It's the last... Colony, if you want to call it colony, um, that you get, and 
it doesn't feel like it should be. I mean, it, it's just a town. Like, there's nothing really all that special about it. It's... I mean, like, yeah, it's, you know, the home castle of half your party, but at the same time, I feel like a final area should have a little bit more gusto to it, right? But, ah well. That's just my opinion, so... It's a weird area. Uh, I do like Fort Overbus. It has a very, very good theme as well. It's this game. Of course it's gonna have a good theme. But... There's... I don't know. It's one of the areas that I feel like... I, I, I will say this. I think I've kind of mentioned it before, but... Xenoblade 3 struggles with its late game. Uh, I will say straight up. It's... Like, up to the beginning of Chapter 6, I think is absolutely, no doubt, one of the best JRPG experiences you will ever play. But, the problem get- since I was here last. I was hoping it would be a little bit more. But, um... Yeah, like, up to Chapter 6, it's one of the best experiences you'll have in a JRPG, I think. Uh, like, any JRPG, just period. But... I will do... We'll do information next time. Um... We could find our ladder. But after Chapter 6, um, I feel like it really falls off. Um... I, I think the end of chapter 5, beginning of chapter 6, is some of the most interesting storytelling that I've ever experienced in a game, and it's followed by some of the least interesting. We haven't seen him too much, um, and spoilers, we won't really see him too much more. Zed is one of the... I find him to be a really lame villain. Uh, we do discover a secret area in the Holy Lid. Uh, just for climbing up to the top of Fort Overbus. So, here's your Ensley. But I, I feel that Zed is such a weak villain because we know nothing about him. Uh, the DLC kind of explains it, but even then... And I, I if I remember correctly, I think the main game also does kind of explain him a little bit. But it's just not... Zed is an in... He's an interesting character. I will give him that. I think Zed is a great character. I... He is very fascinating. But not as a final boss. I think that... Or as a, as a main villain. Uh, I could see him being a... Like a, a right-hand man to the main villain. But he doesn't really fit being the one, you know, the the guy that is really kind of taking down your entire party. Again, I think he's like, I, and that, and again, I this little bit of going ahead. We our party does not encounter Zed until the very end of. That never open up? Might open up post game. Uh, but we do not encounter. Uh, the party does not encounter Zed in person until the final boss fight. Which I think is really not a great thing to have. It. I mean, like, they. they so well, well, we died. Uh, like. I, what they were trying to do with N is what they did with Jin in 2. He's not the final boss, but he really is the main antagonist. And, like, not the, the difference between Malos and Zed is that you encounter Malos more. You know more about him. The party actually has stakes against him. But you just don't get that with Zed. And he feels like he's very aloof as a villain, where he's not all that involved. 
Mm-hmm. Again, it's mostly N that does stuff, which, again, I think that... I'm not saying to, you know, lower N's characterization at all. But I feel that is such a missed opportunity. And the late game feels kind of rushed. Um, you you have this big moment, big lead up in Chapter 5. Then you get to Chapter 6 right away. It Again, Chapter 6 you can probably get done in about an hour. Uh, which is not much. I mean, of course, it took us a while because of, you know, playing through the whole game, but, you know, doing everything that there is to do. Oh, that's right. I'm slowly remembering the area as I go along. Slowly is the very key point, because Fort of Rivers is also an area that I don't go to all too often. Um, but, like, it's... I don't know. I get di I'm just disappointed by the late game. I mean, you encounter D and J right then. J feels like he's underutilized a lot. Uh, I feel like you could have done a lot. I feel like the game could have done a lot more with J. I found D really interesting as well. Um, and the but for that part, I don't mind how much D showed up. I uh, probably could have afforded it a little bit more because him and Jay were kind of tertiary antagonists. Um, but I, again, he could have done, it feels like there's so much more that could have been done. And there's just so many missed opportunities, I think, with the late game. Um, meeting Nia is pretty cool. I, of course, love Nia as a character. Take this care. This container right here. <laughs> Come to uni. Well, we get a hey, lot of nice that? stuff, including induction bangle. I'll check what that is in a mo. There's just so much in the late game. Uh, and then chapter 7 is also really short. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much just getting the, you know, it... Actually, it literally is just getting the bravery and going to Origin. Which, I mean, of course, there's stuff in between. But it's not much stuff in between. There's a... Again, it's so much missed potential. I, I know I keep saying it, but it's just so true that... I... I'm just gonna say straight up, I don't really like the end game of this. The very ending itself, I I have lightened up on, but the entire section that is Endgame, not so much. I I find the Endgame to be kind of dull. Um, you don't really have so much. It feels rushed. Again, Z is a really underbaked villain. Um, N is... N you even feel like you could do more with. Excuse me! Am I right in thinking you're the your boss? So who are you again? Oh, I do beg your pardon. I'm the Castle Inspector Ulrich. I've been looking everywhere for you. Wait a sec, have I seen you somewhere before? Maybe we could still have a sleep, but we could certainly see you inspecting in Colony Night. Is that so? Do you not remember the faces of your own army's officers? I suppose not. Oh, don't worry about it. You said you've been looking for us. Yes, I actually had a favor to ask you. Oh, yeah? It's like the colonies that aren't bound by the flame clocks. Yes, I just want to check in on how the colonies without flame clocks are coping. Just to see if the soldiers are adapted to life without a flame clock and console. It's great, but what do you need us for? Surely Officer Rank comes with an elite bodyguard or two. Ah, no, I was hoping you could fill a rather, a rather different role. Now that so many colonies have been liberated, our old methods of observation aren't quite as effective. You see how we can't just stroll into an Agnian colony and casually observe, yeah? But if the Ouroboros show up, then you'll be warmly welcome, sure. I guess. 
So what do you say? Shut the castle? Not only that, but support the people living in the colonies? Okay. I believe you about supporting the people. Everyone else okay with it? I don't do it. I'm so grateful! Which colonies are we to survey? I assume random choice would be very effective. Alright, I was thinking we could start with Colony 9. Oh? It's somewhere Ulrich's been to inspect before, and it might be the colony that felt the effect of its liberation the hardest. What do you think, Ulrich? No objections here! I'm going to talk to Kite once we've got everything ready. So it's off the new inspector, which we will not do yet. Always nice to see you new we'll do that next time. Because we just wanted to discover the tap dancing Nopon. We can also raid their kitchen. For a Nopon coin, for a gold Nopon coin, and nearly $7,300. Just I'm just under 7,300. In addition, we have more food. The Cured Meat Wizard, 40% XP bonus. I am going to buy it just mm. for the sake of... I believe Manana does have a dish from this as well. Like he does indeed have the Ritzy Glitzy Saucy Wizard. We'll probably just make a Manana's Miso Battle Soup. Uh, miso Soup or whatever it's actually called. Um, and let's just pop on over to... Can't go to the, con the canteen. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, let's pop over to the, the reef camp and check from there. Hey, how are you? I might just travel around the whole you know, world eventually to see if I've missed any dialogue. Ritzy Glissy Sauce Vizard. Uh, XP boost by 30, collectible by 20. Honestly, pretty affordable. I uh, have to feed, uh, fight some more Mora, but not bad at all. But that'll do it for this time. And next time, uh, we go out and start investigating the colonies. But until then, see you guys later.